I'm Shevel and welcome to my channel. Today we're going back on Empires. Great Witch Shelby got a little bit of bad news last time from the Witches Academy, but like all bad news I receive, I'm ignoring it. Hope nobody finds out or comes looking for me. Let's see how that works out for us. And this is your reminder to subscribe. I've been expelled. <laughs> Because of my great incident. If there was one thing great about me, it was that incident, breaking the world. We're not in an entirely parallel universe. Only the chunk is copied from a parallel universe. Everyone's still really themselves. I'm still really me from the same universe. Just my single chunk. Oops, I had to steal from a different reality because I broke mine. Oh my god, did you see that jump? Who's that? That was a skeleton, I'm pretty sure. Is it not so spooky living near the mangrove and you just see that? Okay, this is looking good. Now he needs a big chunky branch that goes this way. I'm not gonna worry about the other side of the tree <laughs> until a while later. 12 seconds later. Not that bad. There's also gonna be so many leaves in here. I'm gonna have a cat intermission. Cat break. Cat break. So this has to arch over and then droop. So I'm gonna I'm gonna work on that shape. I like it. It's gonna be covered in leaves. It's gonna be drooping. It's gonna not look so funky and weird. It's gonna be thick uh, because she has been expelled and revoked from being allowed to practice magic because she's no longer a witch and only witches can practice magic. Also wizards who are a different thing and we're gonna cover that one day in the future. There's not a way to take magic away, but they don't want me practicing it or else you go to witch prison. And obviously I'm gonna keep doing it. I'm gonna keep practicing magic. So don't tell Jimmy, he's the law. I know I'm like doing a crime. You know what? I think it's good. Once this whole thing, I feel like this whole tree needs to be thickened from here. I'm happy with that. Yeah, look at that. That's cool. That's gonna look cool. I hate the mud here. Although I also feel like I'm doing the mangrove a disservice by taking all of it away. It's always gonna be around me. It's getting all over my shoes. Okay, so something I've been working on is this big mangrove tree. I took a lot of the mangroves down, but it kind of felt a little sad taking away so much of the nature. I just wanted to have a little bit more control over how these vines spread, because they're a little bit invasive, a little bit in the way. But I'm putting back this great mangrove tree, and I got the shape. I'm still gonna work on filling out branches and then adding tons of leaves, but I feel like I need a helping hand. And maybe some better enchanting books for my tools. So I think I need to get myself a little villager, but I don't want to take anyone from any villages that already are around my area. And I've been reading in my witch's book, and I think I found a spell that if I do it right, I haven't done any right yet so far, I think this one I can manage. So here's the plan. I've got my wand, I've got some magic essence, and I've got some mangrove wood. And I think if I do it right, I can make a sprite out of it. That's what it said in the book. It's a really, really old ancient spell. Comes from really old people that like nobody really knows what happened to them or where they are. So let's try it out. Okay. Now all I need to do is use my essence on it and this should work. Whoa, it worked. Hey, hold on. I've got just the thing for you. If you come in here, there is a book. That's the wrong way. Uh, okay. You gotta, um, okay, I'm running, I'm running out of, where are you going now? Hey, hey, that's my house. I guess I, I guess I could have you live in there. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it a little bit more ready for him in here. I need him to not get out either. Tortoise? Please, for once ever in your life, behave. Let's put your lectern here. Please go in to, no. That's fine. Let me just wait for, just wait for him to come back in. Um, he's coming back, right? Okay, slowly but surely gonna lock him in this little corner. Okay, it's a little messy in here, but he's in a house, he's safe. This guy didn't get out, new problem. All of my chickens escaped. 
I guess technically the magic worked, but I didn't know I was gonna get such a difficult spirit attached to the log. And only a willing spirit will do it, so it's not like I forced him. It's an old spell from the gnomes. And nobody's seen them in thousands of years, so... Somebody's gotta keep their magic alive. It did work! Even Tortoise likes it. Oh. I mean, if it keeps you from escaping too, I'm okay with this. That's pretty impressive, if I do say so myself. I would also say that me um, changing dimensions in a single chunk of the world is also pretty impressive, but the Witch's Academy didn't think so. And you know, if I can keep doing stuff like that, that was a big spell. I'm sure they'll review my work and let me keep being a witch. Come on. I can't say no to this face. Look at it. I'm adorable. Now, as far as the book this guy has, exactly what I was looking for. One emerald mending book. You are gonna be a great help to this empire. Welcome to the Evermore. Well, I guess it kind of always lived here, but you never had a body, so enjoy it. It's cute. And now I finally have mostly netherite everything. I just got my ax netherite. I just have these two tools. I think I'm gonna just let this shovel die and make a new one. And I've got mending, 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 mending. Whoever said I couldn't be a great witch, I'm gonna prove them so wrong by being as strong as I possibly can. And um, maybe breaking some rules. I kind of have to, they gave me no choice. Oh, you know what? I haven't seen you with your brand new hat. Fantastic. <gasps> Look at how big it is. Isn't it great? Wow, it's so big, it's so floppy. I love it so much, the flowers on top. Oh. Thanks. I got, I got nature wings. Whoa. Those are cool. cool. Do you make yeah, them they're, yourself? They're, no, no, the, the grounds made it. The, the, the actual sanctuary, this place made it for me. Whoa. Hey, do you think it could make something for me? Oh, I bet you it can. What do you need? Uh, I'm trying to get a banner for my empire, and I hear you're the guy that can make my vision happen. Oh, do you have a way to, like, Send me a vision into my brain, and then let me know exactly what you needed, and I'll tell the match. I'm gonna send it telepathically. Do it. You, did you get it? Yeah, let's go. Go, go ahead. D oh, I did it. Did you? Yes, okay. Oh, you, you did it already. Did you oh. get, <clears throat> oh, did it not work? Oh. Uh, let, let's get closer to the magic. C come up over here. Yeah, let's let, see let, the magic. Let me get closer to the, to the root. Have you seen my child? Mm. This is me and Joel's child. This is Hermes. He's adorable. I like, he's like sticking his little hand out for a little handshake. Hello, little guy. This it's place fine. is great. You know, half of this was me and half of this was the magic. Come on in. I gotta use my magic better if this is what I could oh, do. I don't really do it me myself. I just tell it to do it, you know? You I, do it my lane doesn't listen when I talk to it and it keeps eating people. Oh. So, I'm, you know, I gotta work on oh. that relationship, I think. Be careful in the Evermore. Don't don't listen to what the fox says. It's a liar. Especially, like, especially you, about you, me. You know oh, yeah. No, I haven't heard anything yet. Okay, um, good. Have you have you uh, consulted with your academy to get your new book of spells? You said you were gonna do that. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. My my book is all sorted now. I've I've been yes. like oh. doing successful potions since then. Oh, it's been really great. They're pretty proud of me, actually. It's it's awesome. Uh, but I love um, that. that's so good. Okay, yeah, now, about yeah, this, that this banner. My main magic uh, came from right here. So just you, oh. telepathically tell me what you want in your banner. Okay, I'm sending it. over. I feel something. You I getting it? it? Yeah. Oh! <gasps> no, nothing. I just had a little tickle in my throat. Oh, oh I feel it. <gasps> yes, yes. Are you picking up what I'm it. putting down? You getting the vibe? Yeah, I got it. I got it. You yeah? It's going to be a little difficult, though. This is going to oh. be a tough one, okay? Okay. Um, what can I do? What can I get for you? I need something very, very difficult to get. Uh, uh. And I've been trying to get it forever. And I think Joey might be working on something like this because <gasps> I need a uh, creeper skull. Oh. Yeah, you need thunder, you need lightning, you need a, dry, a, a trident Wondering. with some kind of channeling thing. Okay, well, if Joey's working on it, I better go talk to him about it, because I don't know how to summon thunder. You can ask my thunder daddy friend, uh, the, the god, the 11 foot daddy? man. Maybe he has a way of doing thunder. Thunder daddy. All right, yeah, maybe I'll talk yeah. to him too. Everybody's got some yeah. kind of a magic going on. I'd love to know all about it. I can write it down in my <laughs> oh, own. Good. I'll start my own witch encyclopedia. Well, thank you so much. I'll go work on getting that creeper head some way, somehow. And oh, I'll come back it. when I've got it and we'll see that vision. Well, after quite a bit of work out here on the land, I think I found a way to work in harmony with the mangroves. And look at how this big one grew. I think I need to trim just these ones where the entrance is, but it's beautiful. And I think as long as anytime I take away mangroves, I put some back somewhere, I think that we can really get along in here. Wait a minute, what is, what is that? I 
I know what you did? Well, I, I don't even know what I did. Wait, they don't mean... There's no way that they know about... There's no way they know I'm expelled, right? No, nobody knows but me. And I, I burned the letter. The, I think it's just probably some prank. I, I, I don't think anybody knows anything. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get rid of this just right over there. I never saw it. If I keep hiding the evidence, it didn't happen. I never saw it. Uh, in other news, because um, my magic isn't, you know, quite so good yet, I do still need some work on my like formal potion making and making sure I don't accidentally make more appendages grow too big. I decided while I'm working on being a better witch, I'm just gonna be as physically strong as humanly possible. All my armor, all of my tools are almost fully maxed out. So, you know, maybe my magic isn't perfect, but if somebody wants to fight me about it, I'm so ready. And I've been working on little animal farms because we do need a little bit of animal products and it was kind of annoying running around to different areas and villages nearby, so now I'll start my own cow farm. I also have heard about these um, brown mushroom cows and we use brown mushrooms for potions, so I kind of want to see if I can find where they live, but apparently it's really hard. But you know, we'll see what we can do. I've got magic on my side, even if I don't have any other witches on my side. Um, I'm technically a rogue witch. But I really like how things are coming along. I think the next project, because my house is occupied now by a toad and a whole guy, I'm gonna start working on a new house right over here. Just for me and to fit all my things. So we're gonna have to start getting some materials for that. Man, when I moved here, I didn't know I was signing up to be a whole architect and a builder, but I can always try and have my magic help me out. Something I am concerned about though, I don't know where the center of the Evermore is. I've never gone that far, and I don't know if this fog is coming from something or somewhere inside there. I've already tried to walk just a little bit behind my little mushroom shop back there, uh, and I immediately got so lost, I ended up over there. I didn't even walk in that direction, so I don't know what's going on in there, but I do think one day I'm gonna have to go explore it. I think what we need is maybe a little trail of magic candles to lead anyone who gets lost back here. And little campsites for people to rest at. After a few straight hours of just decorating, I think we finally got a proper entrance into our empire. Now, isn't that beautiful? Who would have thought the Evermore could look like this? Uh-huh. You didn't know either? This seems so inviting and warm and welcoming. Maybe finally I'll have some friends visit me and we'll keep building into the forest because we can't stay on the edge forever. We came here to live in the Evermore. We're gonna live in the Evermore. Uh, but is it just me or is the fog back there getting thicker? No, I'm sure that's just me. Well, that's gonna be it for today's episode. Leave a like if you enjoyed watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye! Hey, see, I could've sworn I couldn't see the fog from here. Nah, I think that's just in my head.